18 political parties that will feature in Saturday's Kogi governorship election have signed a peace accord ahead of the poll. Some of the parties were the All Progressive Congress, the People's Democratic Party, Social Democratic Party, the Labour Party, and the Action Alliance. Others include the New Nigeria People's Party, the Action Democratic Congress, the People's Redemption Party, and the Zenith Labour Party. Speaking at the ceremony, retired General Abdul Salam Abubakar, the chairman of the National Peace Committee, appealed to the conscience of the governorship candidates in the state. Abubakar, represented by Cardinal John Onayekon, urged the parties to abide by the record during the election. He said that he was beginning to have serious doubts on the seriousness and commitment on the part of candidates involved in the peace accord. In my opinion, there are three levels of stakeholders who must all play their respective roles well before God and for the good of our people. And they are as follows. First group, the people. I say the first group is the people. The citizens, the electorate, who will cast their votes to indicate who should serve them in public office. The next group, of course, there is the contestants who are offering themselves through their political parties for service of the people. They are to present themselves to be voted for, not impose themselves or grab power by all means. Next, of course, is the INEC with the specific responsibility Conduct, to conduct elections. Even if appointed by a government that is, that is itself a contestant in the election, so INEC has a sacred duty to be fair and impartial, making sure that everyone has a level play.